Today I'm going to be sharing with you a Web 2.0 tool called Poll Everywhere. It's an audience response system that uses mobile phones, Twitter, and the web. Responses are displayed in real time on gorgeous charts and PowerPoints oh, and Keynote. Oh, come on. Poll Everywhere? Everyone knows about that one. Why are you wasting your time creating a tutorial video for it? Right. I know it's pretty well known, but they've made a couple really neat updates. What do you mean? Okay, so now you can create uh, student data and reports and analyze that data. Right, yeah, didn't you just create a tutorial video on the CPS clickers? Don't they do yes, that too? Yes, yes they do, but you can't segment those responses. Go on. Okay, so in the most recent update, Poll Everywhere added segmentation, meaning that you can create a sort of quiz competition in your class with two or more teams. Oh, I like competition. I I know, me too! Anyways, so in Poll Everywhere, these quiz competitions, every student has an equal vote for each poll, meaning it's not just one student doing 90% of the question answering. And even if it is that student just coming up with the answers for those questions, they're still having to tell those students and they're having to put them in, so they're getting a, a little bit more involved, right? Awesome! Well, I'm going to go create one right now! Alright! Cool! High five! Okay, so anyways, Poll Everywhere. All right, you can create a Poll Everywhere account for yourself. However, you won't have the capabilities to segment student responses. In order to do that, you need to use the district's shared login. If you want that information, you can email me, and I'd be happy to share that with you. Uh, just make sure you email me from your MMPS email account. Otherwise, I'll say, I don't know you. Anyways, josh.dumas at mmps.org, or click that link right there. So just in case you haven't used Poll Everywhere before, let me show you the basics of how it works. Students are posed a question right here, or a poll. They have different codes that they will send to that number. So if they decide they want to choose that answer right there, they'll type that code into their phone, and they'll send it to that number. And once they hit send, Give it a few seconds, their response shows up on the bar graph. Beautiful. Now this is all fine and dandy, but it only shows like your whole class. You don't know who responded to which one or you can't break them apart into two or more different teams. Until now! Poll Everywhere has created a segmentation aspect for their software. That means that you can split students up into different teams. So let me show you how you do that. First we'll go ahead and create a new poll. So make sure that you are here, okay, and now click Create New Poll, right there. All right, now your first question should ask the students their name. Uh, it doesn't have to if you don't really care about what student said what. If you're just concerned about a team thing, you don't need a name question, but I like to know where my students are. So have them create their name, and then scroll down and click on the next question and now have them choose a team. You can make up the teams if you want, Team Blue, Team Red, Team Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, whatever you want. Okay, so once that's all been created, go down and just create the rest of your questions for your quiz. I like to do about five to 10, um, but I haven't found a way to mass create them other than you know copying and pasting. Uh, I haven't found a way to import any questions. So. That's that. Um, once you've created all your questions, go ahead down here and click Create, and they show up in this list form here with check boxes next to them. What you're going to need to do is uh, group all these together. So click the check box on all of the questions that you just created, and then go up to the top here and click Group. All right, when you're ready to let students start responding, go ahead and have them answer those two identifying questions first. So click on this first question here that asks them their name, have them respond to that, and then when you're ready, click the next question down here, or next poll, and then have them respond to the team question. Once you have all of your students responding, go ahead and go to the next one. All right, now we're ready to start segmenting those responses based on our previous question. So make sure your poll is live, of course. Click the gear icon for settings, Right there. 
this menu opens up, you need to go to chart. Okay, and then scroll down to the segmented responses section of chart. And there's this drop down box right here. What you need to do is click on that and find the question that asks them what team they're on. If you don't see that question, what that means is you might not have put that inside of the group of questions. Okay, because that's only going to pull from the group that this current poll is in. Okay, hopefully you understand that. All right, um, so once you've got that, now the answers of students who choose Team A or Gryffindor will show up right there uh, according to their segmented responses. So the different responses will show up in different colors. And the percentage of students that choose those responses will show up for Team A and Team B or Team Red and Team Blue. Okay, so now you can go through the rest of, well, you, need, you need to do that for each question, uh, unfortunately, but it only takes a couple seconds. So just before students, or while they're doing it, I guess, while they're responding, um, just make sure you segment it and you should be good to go. All right, now that we're all done with our polls, we're ready to go ahead and see who won, right? First thing we need to do is tell poll everywhere which questions were the right questions. So for each poll, you need to go through and select edit, and then click grade incoming responses, this little checkbox here. And then checkboxes appear underneath all of your responses or your, your answers. Go ahead and select the right one. All right, now poll everyone knows which one was the correct answer. Let's go ahead and run a report. Go back to my polls over here. So we see our polls in this list. And click the checkbox for the group that we created that had all of our polls in it. Up in the menu bar up here, go ahead and select reports and it brings this page up here. Okay, uh, we need to, oops, sorry, I'm in front of it. Uh, we need to click segmentation report, and then this page opens up for number one. We need to choose our group. So, choose our group, and then for question number two, we need to say by which question we're segmenting. So that's the team question. So just start typing in the beginning of that question. Mine was, which team are you on? So, there we go. All right, so we have uh, our group, all the questions segmented by the team. And we're go ahead to generate, we're ready to go ahead and generate the report. This shows up, beautiful, looks like team one was the winner. They get that little trophy there, that's cool. Uh, and then if you wanted to go back and look at the report card, you can see which students answered, or how the students answered each question, you could print off uh, an Excel spreadsheet, so you can try to put that in the grade book if you like. Uh, but that's it. That's Poll Everywhere, all segmented for the quiz competition. Let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe to my channel and watch other videos with these links right here. Alright, cool. Thanks. Bye.